Startup time management. Uh, this is Jeffrey Sui, Master Coach University, JTS Advisors, and I'm going to share with you some of the principles of managing your time during starting or during startup. So uh, first thing is that this is going to be a very brief discussion around this. I'm going to uh, refer you to a couple other resources uh, if you want to go deeper. So the idea here and what I want you to learn out of this video is that when you're starting something, there's a different way to manage your time than almost any other mode that you might be in. So, and there's lots of different modes of time management, right? There is startup mode, which we're going to talk about. Uh, and I've got a little list here that you're looking at on your screen. There's learning mode, like if you're in school or if you're just trying to learn a new, a new skill, maybe you're in a, tra a trade school or maybe you're going through a training process. Great, that's learning mode. Uh, and then there's routines, right? There are certain routines that we have at home. There's certain routines, like if you've had a job for five years, you probably have a routine around it. Uh, and then also, if you're a project manager or you are a... Uh, you know, like a like a you're growing a project or a business or an idea, uh, then there is a project management or growth mode. So there's different ways to manage time that are better for different outputs or different uh, uh, these these different modes of time management. They produce different things. Let's put it that way. So we're going to talk about startup mode. When you're starting something, you need to manage your time in a particular way to succeed in actually bearing something new, to, to create something new in the world, to start a project, start a business, start a career. It's, it's a different way of thinking and acting. It's a different way of managing your time. So I'm going to cover a couple distinctions around this. The first one is the distinction of massive action. When you start something, you've got to be in massive, massive action. It's all about action. If you're sitting there talking about it to your friends or you're just contemplating for hours and hours or you are like more in learning mode, like you're just going to read a lot about it. And I see I meet a lot of you know, new business owners, new coaches, entrepreneurs, etc. that they're just like, well, I'm just going to learn this year. It's like, well, you're not in startup mode. You may be, need to be in learning mode, but learning mode and startup mode two different things. So you really want to be clear on, am I learning or am I starting? If you're learning, you may not have time. You probably won't have time to start. If you think, if you say you're starting, if you think you're starting, don't be deluded. Don't fool yourself into thinking that learning mode is startup mode. It ain't. You can learn for decades and not start anything. So startup mode means action, not just absorbing knowledge. Now, you might absorb some knowledge while you take action, or some of your actions might be, you know, there might be some learning involved. They can't just be about learning. Uh, also, you know, think about it this way, like no sleep. You, uh, you know, when, when you're working in a startup company, you're like the walking dead. You know, you're, you're, you're practically dead. You're trying to, to stay alive. You're trying to, uh, you know, get more done with less capital, less investment, uh, and there's never enough time for everything that you need to get done. So that that's just startup mode. That's it's massive action and no sleep. Uh, you also need to be uh, you you need to sh you need to simplify. Another distinction of startup mode is that you need one goal, not twenty. Uh, you know, when we go through strategic planning, we usually discover you know twenty, thirty, forty different goals. Well, startup mode that doesn't that's not very helpful usually. You really need to narrow it down to like one or two goals, and you should have a small list of actions or or projects or ideas that you're going to execute on. It's gotta you gotta make sure you're maintaining the distinction of simplicity. Uh, next distinction: there's usually a lot of fires to put out, and you're going to need some accountability on staying with it because it's easy to get. Um, it's easy to start suffering. It's easy to start getting really resistant when you pu you're pushing yourself, you know, 5, 10, 15 hours a day to work, 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 do a bunch of things you hate or don't like. Or eventually, if you do it long enough, you end up hating it, you know, because that repetition, the drudgery, the, the, the pressure, the stress, <laughs> that's what that's what why it, there's a lot of requ accountability required during this startup period. 
Um, and you're going to have some fires that you got to put out. You're going to start a project. You're going you're gonna to get going on something. You might make some sales and all of a sudden, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing or, or this isn't working and the, the, the customer is upset or I dropped the ball on this. You know, this, this thing could, could blow up. Fires. You're going to be putting out a lot of fires. Totally normal. So you got to be able to deal with the stress of that and the pressure of that. Uh, you know, go meditate for five minutes a day if you need to, but you've got to deal with that. And you've got to put, punch through that, not, you know, cower in the face of pressure and stress and threats because that stuff happens. You're going to need to have accountability around facing those things. And those that are going to shrink in the face of that or be repulsed by that or run away from that, you know, they're, they're, they're not in startup mode not successfully at least uh flexibility is critical for this you're going to be doing one thing one day next day you're going to need to change your approach uh, so yes you'll have a list yes you'll have a goal but you might need to change that list change that goal from time to time probably many times in t uh, before you actually achieve what you're looking for as an initial starting plan uh, and then finally there are some elements of growth and project management this last uh uh, this last uh, mode of time management on the list here that could come into startup mode. Uh, there's this, uh, I guess misspelled, but there is a uh, technology called results templates where you focus on several results uh, and you don't get, uh, you don't get gummed up or, or, uh, or slowed down through uh, to-do list items. You are specifically, uh, creating a template of your results, focusing on the results, and only taking actions that are associated with the specific results you're after. And these are kind of motivational templates that you build to make sure you're clearly focused, but also excited to produce those results and stay on the, uh, uh, the, the journey of uh, producing those results. Sometimes there's a variety of results that need to be kind of templated, even during startup mode. You need to be outcome focused. That's the same in startup mode. You can't just like drone away at routines. That's the opposite of routines is startup. And sometimes you may need to delegate or lead, but this is probably the biggest difference between project management and growth mode and startup mode, which is you can't just get everybody else to do it for you in startup mode. Usually nobody wants to follow, up, follow you in startup mode. Nobody believes in you in startup mode. Everybody thinks your idea is bonkers. And, you know, they, they, they leave you alone usually at best. Or they work against you like, hey, stop that. Stop trying this new thing, right? They think you're, you're deluded. Uh, or, you know, you're, you're in this blue sky thinking territory of this, this uh uh, you know, seeing the world through rose-colored glasses, you know, pie in the sky kind of ideas. They will work against you. So trying to lead others, trying to delegate versus spending your time, bad idea in startup mode. Good idea in project management and growth mode because people start believing in you at that point. Startup mode, not so much. So uh, uh, so I would not attempt, not, att I mean, not that you can attempt it, but I wouldn't count on a lot of leadership and delegation working in your favor during startup uh, unless you already have the finances, you have the, the stake, you have the team in place, great. Well, that, that's different. That's not exactly startup mode in a, in a big way. I mean, yes, there are startup organizations that have teams. But even those teams, like most of the rest of the world, looks at them like they're insane. Like just think back to you know, 20, 30 years ago, Amazon.com starting. Everybody made fun of them. I mean, they were a public company, and people would still beat up on them, say, "Yeah, they're not making any money. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, uh, they, you know, they're just, they're going to blow up, right?" And the rest of the internet organizations are blowing up left and right, but Bezos did not. He was running in startup mode, and he knew he didn't expect to be able to have the rest of the world go alongside him. It was just him and his team, and that was it. So it's a bit of a lonely mode to be in. But that's startup mode. So a couple other recommendations I would make, and I'll link this in like description or wherever this is posted. First is that uh, completing your tasks versus having that it be perfect, really critical distinction. Here's a, a video on completion versus perfection. Completion trumps perfection during startup mode. And then finally, I also have a uh, podcast that I created, uh, just basically an audio uh, around uh, how to start 
and it's much more detailed than what I covered just now in this video. So check that out if I do link to it, if I have that uh, resources available uh, to you. I will link to it in the description, possibly in a tag. Any questions on this, let me know. But uh, that is the point of startup mode, is that you must take action, keep the focus on a simple set of actions, and usually one goal, be accountable and rigorous with yourself and disciplined about staying focused, and then you may need to uh, uh, also work on growing and managing projects in the process, but that is not necessarily the case to get started. Find that one big domino that if you push it, it'll push all the rest of the dominoes down, and you're probably focusing on the right thing if you focus on that, just that first domino in startup mode.